so first uh, let uh, let's understand what's happening at the memory level okay so so here we will trying to we will try to print memory address of this number variable number equal to number okay this is the memory address of this number variable okay and and here this this is the another variable named value okay so we can print memory address of this value variable see how memory address of this value variable equal to value end of line so let's run this program and we see we will see the output so let me first comment this thing okay so let me run this program so initially we will uh, execution will start from the main function so okay and so some program or stack memory will be created here okay then we are inside the main function so inside main function is printed and we are declaring a local variable called number so this number variable will will have some memory into the into the into our program stack memory okay so we are inside the main function and we are declaring this variable means this num 10 value will be stored at memory address memory address and and what's the memory address of number variable we have printed at line number 60, 16 uh, memory address of this number variable is here oh, oh we are not printing memory address we have to use m percentage of number so it will print so uh, earlier we were printing only 10 value 10 so with the help of m percentage number memory address will be printed see here so this memory address will be printed okay so we know this we know that value 10 is stored at this memory address v384 okay v384 is the memory address where this value 10 is stored okay and this memory address is present into our stake or program stake memory okay and after that we are calling our uh, so value of number variable is 10 only see before calling function uh, num value of number variable is 10 and at line number 18 we are calling process number function okay let's call process number function here we are calling process number function so execution of of a called function will happen at the premistic memory okay so here we are calling process number function and we are passing this term number 10 10 as an argument so this process number function will hold hold the 10 into the value variable so this is the parameter into the process number function and it will hold this 10 number into the value variable okay so this value variable will be created at a frame stick level okay this value variable is created and it is holding the 10 number okay and it will it will hold this 10 number into variable uh, value variable uh, into our frame stick memory only and what's the address of this value variable uh, see here we have printed we are already inside uh, process number function see here, here we are inside process number function and we have printed memory address of value variable so this is the memory address of this value variable okay here we will store this 10 number into the value variable so at memory level we are storing this this value 10 at this memory address okay and and then we are printing value at line number 7 so so 10 will be printed here see 10 is printed 
and at line number eight, what is happening? We are changing this data. We are changing fifty. Uh, we are uh, changing this data. So how this line will be executed? We are saying now we want to store fifty into the value variable. So how we can store fifty into the value variable? We will go to the memory address of this value variable. What's the memory address of this value variable? This is the memory address of value variable. And we are saying that we want to store fifty data into the value variable. So now we want to store fifty into this value variable. Okay, at this memory address. So at this memory address, we will we want to store fifty. So at this memory address, fifty will be this value fifty will be updated. Okay. So now this memory address will have Fifty, this fifty data. Okay, so value will become fifty. So value already have has um, we have already updated value as a fifty, and after updating value as a fifty, we are executing this line, new value equal to value. Okay, we are trying to print the value variable. Okay, how we will test the data stored into the value variable? So we will go to the memory address of this value variable. This is the memory address of value variable. This is the memory address of value variable, and we will pass the value stored at this memory address. Okay, so we know 50 is stored at this memory address. So here, new value equal to 50 will be printed. See, new value equal to 50 is printed. At at this line, line number 10, we are exiting from the process number function. Okay, when we and so process number execution of process number function is completed. And we are exiting from this process number function. So this stack memory will be gone. It is gone. Okay. And we will come back to line number 18. This this been already executed. And now line number 18 will be executed in main program after calling function. So number will be printed in the main into the main function. We have number equal to 10. So after calling function after calling function number equal to 10 will be printed so see here after uh, after calling function number equal to 10 then we will execute this line exiting from main function exiting from main function exit from main so when we exit from the main function this memory state this program state memory will be freed okay and this is how execution of main function will be completed at memory level so here whenever we were changing the data 50 into the value variable it was not reflecting into into our main program so number number was still printing Number was still printing 10 after calling this function. After calling this function, number was still printing 10. Because any whatever update we do in the process number function, in the called function, then that that change will not reflect into our main function. Okay. Because we were changing changing data into the value variable. We were not changing data into the number variable. Okay. We we have already seen. See value value data in the value variable is stored at this memory location v36c. Okay, number variable is stored at different memory location v384. So 10 will uh, 10 is stored at this memory location v384 and 50 was stored at 8v36c memory location. So both memory locations are different. Okay. So that is why that is why whatever change we were doing uh, into the do process function it was not reflecting into our main program because number variable is different from the value variable because both have the different memory locations okay whatever changes we do into into our call function those changes must reflect into our calling function into our main function also so data data of number number variables should be updated 
with 50. So how we can achieve that function too? So earlier we were calling this process number function as a by passing this 10 value, 10 data, and this this thing uh, this thing known as call by value. We are calling process number function with this 10 10 10 data. So so if we want to make some changes and we want we want to have a functionality that if we change the data into the into the process number function those changes must reflect into our main function also so we can call this process number function by passing reference by passing by calling function by passing reference okay reference so this is known as calling this process number function by reference so this is known as call by reference call by reference okay so how we can uh, call this data number uh, so we want to call this process number function by passing the reference of this number variable so we so whenever we call this process number function we will come here this process number function and this is the data type of value variable so here we can receive re, here we can receive the data passed by the process number function from the main program here in as an address okay so here here value will be address of memory address of this number variable okay so here value will be m percentage of number variable okay so let's run this program and see the output and we will see what's happening uh, at the memory state level also uh, so initially execution of main function will start so so some for execution for executing main function stake or program stake memory will be created then first we will be inside the main function then we have declared uh, uh, we have declared this variable number equal to 10 it means we are uh, declaring some memory block we are blocking some memory into the uh, program stake memory for the number variable okay so number uh, number uh, data of 10 into the number variable will be stored at some memory location and so it will be stored at some memory location this will be stored at memory location and what's the num memory location of number variable this is the memory location of this number variable so this is the memory location okay and see uh, line number 16 memory location memory address of number variable is 6064 so data 10 will be stored at this memory address 6064 so data 10 will be stored at this memory address 6064 then we are calling uh, we, then at line number 17 uh, we are printing this line uh, before calling the function value value is stored in, into the number variable so how we can fetch the value stored at number variable memory location we will go to the number variable memory location we will come here this is the number variable memory location and we know that 10 values is stored here so we will pass the value 10 and we will print in main before calling function number equal to 10 okay so 10 will be printed because currently 10 is present at this memory address okay then we are saying we are saying uh, process number we are calling process number function okay and we are calling this function by passing reference reference to number variable okay so so we will come to the process number function okay and here here uh, we have this parameter value and this parameter parameter value will hold the memory address of number variable okay because we are using m percentage of value it means value variable will store memory address of number variable so what will happen at stake level so inside process number function we will go in uh, inside process number function at uh, stake memory uh, level what will happen we are calling process number function with the reference 
so this uh, frame stick will be created this memory will be created and here we have passed uh, here we have passed here we have passed the number variable as a reference okay so m percentage of value will be memory address of number variable so what's the memory address of number variable we already know this is the memory address of number variable okay c6064 is the memory address of number variable so value will be m percentage of value will be nothing but memory address of this number variable 6064 okay so m percentage of value is nothing but 6064 okay and what's the value stored at this memory location we already know what's the value stored at this memory location okay we can go to our uh, stack level memory 6064 and we know that value 10 is stored at this memory location okay so this value 10 is stored at this memory location so we know this memory 6064 is not created newly is not created new memory memory into the frame stick okay so this memory is not created at here this is this memory 6064 is not created here okay this memory was already created at line number 39 into the program stick memory okay so what's happening at uh, line number 4 for uh, value or reference variable will hold the memory address of number variable okay at stick or uh, frame stick memory level and percentage of value will store memory address of number variable we know this memory is already created into our program stick memory so for the m percentage of value no memory will be created it will not have new memory okay this m percentage of value is referring to our old memory only which this old memory is created into the program stick only okay and then what we are doing we are printing inside a process number function okay so we are printing inside process number function here then we are saying we are printing m percentage of value and it is m percentage of value is nothing but 6064 so we know we are referring to the number variable memory address we are not creating any new memory address see here memory address of value variable is nothing but memory address of number variable we are not creating any new memory into, into the frame stack memory we are just referring to the uh, program stack memory only main function memory only and so at line number 7 we are printing value as a 10 okay we are printing value and we know uh, how we can fetch the value we will go to the this memory location 6064 6064 and at this value value memory address we know that 10 is stored okay so we will print value equal to 10 so here value value will be printed as 10 okay then at line number 8 we are updating the data we are updating the data we want to store 15 into the value variable so how we can store 50 into the 50 data into the value variable so we will go to the memory address of this value variable okay this is the memory address of this value variable and we know this memory is present is not present into this frame stack memory this memory is not present in the into the frame stack memory this memory is present into into our program stack memory and we are updating the data with 50 value so this 50 value will be updated into our program stack memory okay this will be updated into our program stack memory and after after this updation value equal to 50 we are we are printing new value so how we can print the value we will go to the memory address of value variable this is the memory address of value variable and so uh, so we know that uh, 50 data is stored into this memory address okay so new value equal to 50 will be printed new value equal to 50 see here new value equal to 50 is printed here okay and then we are exiting from from process number function 
okay exiting from process number function will be printed okay so see we updated the value and new value equal to 50 is printed now we are exiting from the main fun uh, process number functions so whenever we exit from the process number function this value will be freed okay this well this memory will be freed this memory is gone okay we don't have any access to that that memory okay and execution of process number function is completed so we will come here execution of process number function is completed we will come to the line number 19 so here we are uh, printing in main in main function okay we will come into the main function this is the main function after the after executing process number function uh, we will be into the main after calling function num after calling the function and we are trying to print the value stored into the number variable so how we can print the value stored into the number variable we will go to the memory address of this number variable so we will go to memory address of this number variable 6064 is the memory address of number variable you can see memory address of number variable is nothing but 6064 and we will try to fetch the value stored at this memory address and we know 50 is stored 50 is stored at this memory address okay so 50 will be printed at line number 19 see in main after calling function number equal to 50 50 is printed at line number 19 okay and at line number 20 we are exiting from the main function and so we are exiting so exiting from the main function and execution of this main function is completed so again this memory will be freed this memory will be gone once we complete the execution okay so here we can notice this memory will be freed so here we can notice that initially number was 10 okay initially see uh, number was 10 number equal to 10 initially before calling this function number equal to 10 here then we call this process number function by the reference of this number variable okay we are calling this process number function by passing that reference reference of this number variable okay and we are calling this uh, we are calling this function okay we will go into the call function process number function and we will receive the passed argument into this value parameter and we uh, we want to we want to call this process number function by the reference so what we will do we will we we will have this parameter with the m percent m percentage character so value equal to m percentage of number and we know m percentage of number is nothing but memory address of number variable so when at line number 8 whenever we are updating the data into the value variable then we know value value is nothing but memory address of number variable so this data will be stored at this memory address number variable memory address so data 50 will be stored will be updated at the memory address of number variable okay so we have updated the data stored into the number variable so after uh, executing line number 10 uh, this execution of this program uh, process number program will be returned okay uh, this execution of this process number uh, function is completed so we will come to line number 19 and we here we are trying to fetch the data stored at the number variable memory location and we we already know that that at this memory location now uh, now 50 is, 50 is stored at this memory location number variable memory location 50 is stored this 50 so this will print 50 so see here number equal to 50 this number variable trying to fetch the data stored at this number variable memory location and we know 50 is stored at this number variable memory location so it will print 50 so this uh, this functionality is known as uh, calling a function by reference call by reference okay so we are calling this function process number function by pass by 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 the reference of number variable and we are holding the uh, memory address of this number vari variable into the value parameter so whatever changes we do with the value with the value variable 
that changes will refract into our main programs number variable because those changes will happen at memory address of number variable only okay so we are changing data 50 at the memory address of number variable that is why all the changes we did into our process number program will reflect into our main program also in our main function okay so whatever changes we did in, into our process number function these changes will reflect into the calling function okay so so when so num now number will print 50 okay 